Hello guys, welcome to Nita Crochets. My name is Anita. The hook is my magic wand. Uh, today I'm going to be sharing with you this very, very simple poncho. Uh, I have a coffee shop that I opened. Please, please make it a point to check out my coffee shop and support me and contribute to my craft in any way that you possibly can. I will be super, super, super grateful. So just to show you what I'm going to be doing, I have my very old book here. That's where I try to draw out, sketch out what I'm going to do. And um, first of all, before we get into uh, stitching, this is what I am going to expect you guys to have in mind. So our poncho is going to be um, 26 inches of length, okay? And I want it to be 36 inches of width, all right? So whatever we do, this is what we are going to be um, keeping in mind, okay? Now, um, I'm going to put this aside and let's just get into starting our project. Here with me is um, chains. These are going to be my foundation chains. They are 89 of them, okay? And before I actually get into stitching, I'm using a six millimeter hook. This is a scrap yarn project. So if you have any scrap yarn or leftover yarn or something like that, I believe this is the project for you because I'm also working with this kind of yarn. It is size four yarn, a uh, hundred grams and it's a hundred percent acrylic. I don't know what yarn you would love to choose to work with, but any, any, any yarn is very, very, unless you're looking for something super light, a little light, then you can, downsize to a size three yarn but this is size four because i want something heavy and cozy not so heavy but at least heavy thick and cozy um secondly you may need uh, a pair of scissors and a tape measure strictly you need a tape measure so i have 89 chain stitches so you're going to make a knot and work 89 stitches 89 chains all right and once you have 89 chains, if you would love to go further more with the chains or make something longer, then you will make sure that you're working your chains in sets of four. And after you have the sets of four, you will add just one chain at the end of the chains that you already have. Okay. So basically it must be divisible by four, then a plus one chain at the end. Okay. That's why I have 89. So for the stitch pattern, it has to be 88, but then the the one extra is for just so that we come up with the stitch pattern the way it has to flow so once you have your chains ready this is what you will do i'm going to yarn over and I'm going to count, I'm going to work a double crochet into the fourth chain stitch from the hook. One, two, three. Now into the fourth right here, I will work a double crochet. So this chain three is going to act as a stitch, okay? Now we have a double crochet here, and once again, we work one double crochet into the next stitch. Okay, chain one skip one work three double crochets into the next three stitches there we go chain one skip one work three double crochets into the next three stitches Chain one, skip one. Work three double crochets into the next three stitches. And this is what we are going to do for all the stitches, for all the uh, foundation chains that we have until we come to the end of our row. 
So just do this and I'll meet you at the end of the row and then show you what to do. So here I am at the end of my row and this is how my work looks like. So for the next row I am going to chain two and turn my work. The two chains won't act as a stitch so into the very first um, into the very first stitch I'm going to work a double crochet and I'm going to work two double crochets into the next two stitches so where there is a chain one I'm also going to work a chain one and skip one then into the next three double crochets I'll work three double crochets sorry um, I'll work one double crochet into every stitch for the next three stitches okay so once again chain one skip one work three double crochets into the next three stitches there we go so you're going to just keep repeating this until you come to the end of your row and that's where I'm going to meet you and then show you what to do. So I'm just back so I remind you guys that this chain three right here on the first row actually acted as a stitch so when you get here you will work a double crochet into the third chain stitch of the three that started the row. Alright now from here you will cut your yarn and now I'm going to attach another color of yarn. So here we are and I'm going to attach my next color of yarn and just pull through. You can secure this if you want. So there we are and here we are going to chain two. Turn your work two three four so we have four chains and yarn over three of these chains are going to act as a stitch and then the other is for the chain gap so we already have a stitch here so we are going to skip this and into this stitch we are going to work a double crochet you see that and now we are going to work a long an elongated double crochet so we are going to work into the previous row of the chain one okay right there so we work a long double crochet just like that and then we are going to work one double crochet into the next stitch chain one skip one work a double crochet in the next stitch okay then work an elongated double crochet into this chain one space and then work one double crochet into the next stitch chain one skip one work a double crochet into the next stitch and now you work an elongated double crochet then work one double crochet in the next stitch please make sure you're not so tense your stitches are not like so tight because you know a poncho has to be like super free okay so chain one skip one work one double crochet into the next stitch I find this fun to do so um, into the next chain gap you work an elongated double crochet then work one double crochet into the next stitch so you see what we have now we are just going to continue doing this until we come to the end of our row so I am here right at the end of my row as you can see this is where I ended so I will chain one into the second last stitch I'll skip I'll skip the second last stitch and I'll work a double crochet into the very last stitch okay 
Now for the next uh, row, I'm going to chain two and turn my work. I will work one double crochet into this very first stitch. The chain two does not act as a stitch. So where I skipped, where I worked a uh, chain one or skipped stitches, it's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'll chain one and skip the next stitch and then work three double crochets into the next three stitches. Once again, I will skip stitches where I skipped in the previous row and work double crochets over the stitches. I work double crochets. So chain one, skip one, work three double crochets into the next three stitches. Chain one, skip one, work three double crochets into the next three stitches. So you're going to do this all the way until you come to the end of the row and that's where I'm going to meet you and show you what to do. So here I am at the end of my row and as you can see I'm going to chain one and I'll skip one chain stitch and then work into the third chain stitch of the four that started the previous row. So I'll cut my yarn. So there we are and um, here I'm going to chain two and turn my work. I will work one double crochet into the very first stitch. The chain two does not act as a stitch. Now I am going to work an elongated double crochet into this uh, chain one space. And I will work one double crochet into the next stitch. So I'll chain one, skip one, work one double crochet in the next, and then work an elongated double crochet into the next stitch. Work one double crochet in the next, chain one skip one one double crochet into the next stitch and then an elongated double crochet into the next stitch one double crochet in the next chain one skip one work one double crochet into the next stitch an elongated double crochet into the chain space right there and then one double crochet into the next stitch so you're just going to keep repeating this until you come to the end of your row and I'm going to get back and show you how to work the next row so once you come to the end of your row like I am so I've worked one double crochet in here and I will work an elongated double crochet into this chain space Now into the very last stitch right there, I'm going to work a double crochet. You see that? So I'll chain one, uh, sorry, I'll chain two and turn my work. Remember the chain two doesn't act as a stitch. And I'm going to work one double crochet into this very first stitch. Do the very same thing for the next two stitches. And then I'll chain one, skip one, and then work two, uh, three double crochets into the next three stitches. So basically, where I work double crochets, I'm going to work double crochets. And where I skipped a stitch and chained one, I am going to skip a stitch and chain one. So skip one, chain one, skip one, and then work three double crochets into the next three stitches. I believe that now you guys know how to work the lux foot um, stitch pattern i'll just get back and work the next two rows just so that you are familiar with what you're doing 
you can always rewind and see what we did for the next row after this and it will be very easy for you so let me get back and show you how to work the next two rows then i can let you guys work the part on your own so once at the end of your row you will cut your yarn and attach another color of yarn so now here we are going to chain four if you remember what we did here so we shall chain four one two three four turn our work i told you the three chains act as a stitch so we are going to skip this and sorry the stitch is already our first stitch is already on the chain so we skip this and now into the next we work one double crochet and then work an elongated double crochet into the chain one space one double crochet into the next stitch chain one skip one one double crochet in the next stitch an elongated double crochet into the chain gap and then one double crochet into the next so this is what we have chain one skip one one double crochet in the next stitch and then one elongated double crochet into the chain one space and then one double crochet in the next stitch so just keep repeating this until you come to the end of your row and once you come to the end of your row you are going to chain two turn your work and just work a double crochet where there is a double crochet and the chain one where there is a chain one all right and now guys i'm going to let you repeat this and repeat this until you have Like I said, so basically the 89, the 89 chains were for our length. Okay, so we literally are working vertically. So I, I want you guys to repeat this until you have a, a width of 36 inches. All right, once you have a width of 36 inches. You will now repeat the very same thing we have done from the start for your second piece because I want two pieces, the front piece and the back piece. Now that's why I'll get back and then show you what to do next. So I've finished working my two pieces and this is how my work looks like. I kept changing colors and if you can look at the bottom, this is where I kept having the um, yarn ends when I'm attaching a new color of yarn. And that's how it looks like so to show you how to work our top part we are going to get our tape measure and just go up to the top right here and we are going to take measurements just to be accurate you will take measurements from one end to the other just like that okay I have 38 all right it's 38 inches wide so for 38 inches I want to spare about 10 inches I want to spare 10 inches and I want them at the center right here um, if I'm to deduct 38 10, 10, 10 inches from 38 inches I'll have 28 so if I'm to divide 28 by 2 that gives me um, um 14 yeah so uh that means i'm going to measure 14 from this side and uh, i will mark the place or the stitch where my 14 inches end so here we are i'll mark that like that and i'm also going to do the very same thing on this side I'm going to get my tape measure and measure 14 inches from this end All 
right there so i'm going to mark this there we are so i have left 10 inches in between and this is the space i have marked for my neck okay so i'm going to put this aside and do the very same thing for the second piece okay so let me get back once you have marked your second piece as well so this piece is so wide and i am failing to really have it on my table properly so i can show you guys what i'm exactly doing but here we are i have marked both ends as you can see this is where my neck is going to go on both pieces so i am going to get my yarn needle and i am going to sew from here to this end right here okay and close this up and also do the very same thing on this side i'm going to hand sew from this part here heading to the ends on this side okay so that uh, the shoulders are really well attached and we only have this opening for the neck okay so let me do that and just get back and show you how it looks like and then show you how to work the neck piece just make sure you're doing this you're working this into the last stitches at the edge of these pieces so that with your yarn needle you're not getting a hold of really a chunk or a big piece of yarn that you want to you know you will have a bumpy seam okay and we just want the seam to look as flat and normal as possible so just do this um all the way until the end and i'll get back and show you how to work the neck piece So I'm going to let you guys do the very same thing on this side for your left shoulder and then I'm going to get back and show you how to work the neck piece. So for the neck piece I already worked my piece I'm just going to take you through exactly what you have to do. First of all this is how it looks like it's very simple I worked with the rib stitch single crochet rib stitch and um, first I have 30 foundation sorry uh, 31 foundation chains that's what I worked so just to take you through briefly I'm just going to work a very short piece one two three four five six seven so let's say this is it into the second chain stitch from the hook I'll work a single crochet and I'm going to continue working one single crochet into every stitch all the way until the end of the row I'm working with how uh, with white so it may not be very very visible so once you have all these stitches together you will chain one turn your work into the back loop of the very first stitch you will work a single crochet then work a single crochet into the next back loop the back loop of the next stitch and you're going to do this for every stitch so this is how you work your single crochet rib stitch and i did this for a couple of rows so i have um 48 rows of the rib stitch and once you have your 48 rows of the rib stitch you will just get your work together so we shall just get our work just like this um the reason as why i'm going to make a closure here is I just want to have a few stitches maybe like seven or eight closed up and then I'll leave this for the opening okay so at the end of at the end of your row this is what you will do so you can use your yarn needle or you can just use your hook and I'm going to do this get my hook 
turn my work and then I'm going to start um, working single crochets into um, the stitches on both ends for about uh, seven or eight stitches and that will be enough. This is enough for me so I'll just cut my yarn and weave in my ends and there I have it okay so I'm going to get this and stretch it out so if you find that it doesn't fit you just make sure you stretch it out like this okay so I'm going to hand sew this make sure the hand sewing is on the inside just like this and then go around I'm not going to do this with you. I'm just going to record a time lapse so that you see how I go around working the stitches here. Okay? So just attach this and there you will have your poncho complete.